What's up guys, Mr. Unrealness here, and today I had the unfortunate experience of trying out a new free game on Epic Games called Krata. Now, Krata was a Google Stadia exclusive, which should tell you something right there. It has since released an early access for free on Epic Games, and in this video, we're gonna go over my first impressions of it and kinda talk a bit about what the game is and how it plays. I will be trying to do more first impressions and reviews of new games coming out, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see my opinions on some of the newer games hitting the market. Alright, so first let's break down what Krata actually is. So Krata is basically just a mini game creator. You can design levels and set certain types of game modes with certain types of gameplay and then you can upload it for people to play. And then on top of that, it has a Fortnite looking style just slapped onto it. So my first experience in Krata was actually a game mode that was kind of like Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, you run around and you basically kill floating clown robots and get money and then you can open up new areas just like in Call of Duty Zombies with the money that you get. Um, I ran around and the movement just felt like crap and uh, I didn't like where the camera was sitting. It didn't feel like it was in the right place and the gunplay and the aiming, it just felt atrocious all around. So overall, this game mode just, it set a very low bar. I had very low expectations after this, and Krata still failed to even step over that bar. So the next game mode I jumped into was another Call of Duty inspired one. It was a Nuketown recreation, which I thought, I love Nuketown, so I better try this out and hopefully I can at least have a little bit of fun with it. Um, after running, running around shooting a few people, you know, I realized pretty quickly, like, this just isn't satisfying to play at all. The gunplay sucks. The guns feel horrible to use. The aiming sucks. Once again, the uh, the camera and the movement just don't feel right. The movement feels kind of stiff. The camera feels like it's sitting in a position that just doesn't doesn't seem like it's where I want it to be. Uh, so all in all, this game mode was also a crap experience. At this point, I was feeling like this game was just a complete waste of time, but I figured, you know what, let me try a completely different style of game mode, and maybe it does certain gameplay better than others. So I tried this platformer style one called Tsunami Run, and you basically are just running forward through the level to try and escape this wall of water. The wall of water looks really stupid, and it's kind of glitchy, and it's obviously not designed very well at all. I died randomly once, and then after I respawned, the tsunami caught up to me but then it just went right over me and kind of reset and then started coming again and then it went over me again and i just found like there's no point to this even if the tsunami catches up to me it doesn't even do anything so all in all the mini game just felt completely broken and stupid and yet again just a waste of my time at this point, this game I realized was complete trash. I didn't even want to play it anymore, uh, but I did play one more game mode. It was called Rainbow Racer, and you just kind of are supposed to race through this level. Um, it's all shell shaded and a bit of a different style, but you know what? No one's even playing this game. I couldn't even find a game that had another person to race against. So what's the point of me just trying to race against myself? After my fourth mini game, I realized that this game is a complete waste of space and no one should have it installed on their computer. I went ahead and uninstalled it and I will never be playing this game again. I'd highly advise that you guys don't even bother checking this game out. They seem to be on a bit of an advertising push right now, uh, trying to promote their new free early access release on Epic Games. And that's undoubtedly because no one's playing Google Stadia, so what's the point of having a Google Stadia exclusive? I think it's pretty clear that my first impressions of this game were absolutely horrible. Hopefully by watching this video, some of you have been steered away from even trying this useless game. I will be trying to make more first impressions videos for new games that are coming out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for my opinion on those games. I'm hoping that my next experience will be better than this one and hopefully I can steer you towards a game instead of away from it. Drop a comment in the comment section if there's any games you think I should give my first impressions on. And as always guys, I hope you have a good one.